We started our third day in Venice at the Plaza San Marco. Even though usually pretty crowded, the plaza was quite empty. We took some photos in front of the St. Mark's Basilica, which is one of the main monuments of the city. Later we walked near the Grand Canal and just enjoyed the postcard view with all the gondolas. It forms one of the major water traffic corridors in the city. It is 3.8 kilometers long and 30 to 90 meters wide, with an average depth of 5 meters. Mike joined us on our way to the Palazzo Contarini del Bovolo. We wandered around in Venice and he showed us later some kind of a viewpoint at the Grand Canal with an incredible view. The banks of the Grand Canal are lined with more than 170 buildings, most of which date back to the 13th or 18th century. One of Tara's wishes was to visit the Teatro La Venise, which we obviously did. It was incredible and left me honestly speechless. Our holiday in Venice wouldn't be complete without a drive in one of the famous gondolas. We ended our last day with some cocktails again. Then it was already time to pack our suitcases and leave our Airbnb. That's it! Everything's closed, everything's packed. That was our time in Venice. Sadly, it's ending and definitely too short. We met with Mike for breakfast and as you can see, we really wanted to stay longer. On the way to the train station, we ate ice cream together and enjoyed our last hour in Venice. Mike accompanied us to our train track and it was time to say goodbye. <laughs>